a richness hard to find above the surface. Komodo National Park thought to have one of the best coral reefs in the world. A diver's paradise and home to many species of fish. But recently, parts have been turned into a graveyard, destroyed by fishermen using explosives. It has a, a serious consequence for fisheries as a whole. Um, if it's supposed to be a marine protected area, the concept is that uh, protecting the, the fish stocks in, in the park will allow those fish to migrate outside of the park and repopulate other fishing grounds. Um, once the reefs are bombed and damaged, uh, the basic level of the ecosystem is destroyed and you lose a lot of uh, valuable fish resource as a result of that as well. It's this rare lizard, the Komodo dragon, that has given the park its special status. But the area's marine life is an inseparable part of this rich ecosystem. This has just been selected as one of the new seven wonders of the world. But down here, wonder has turned into misery. Parts of the world's most beautiful reefs have been destroyed. And environmentalists are wondering when it's going to stop. Hey, Hassan. Prima Tali. Rangers on patrol trying to hunt down the perpetrators. In March, they exchanged gunfire with fishermen, killing one. Fishermen use bombs and poison to increase their catch. On this boat, no explosives are found. Only traditional fishing equipment is allowed inside the park. Outside the national park, we can't find any more fish. Only inside the park, because the reefs are still good. Park authorities say they do whatever they can to protect the reef, even if it means killing fishermen. We have a dilemma. We are very serious about protecting the park, but people don't understand that if we do this, violence can occur. Of course, we follow all the procedures. Abdul Muiz was arrested two months ago when he was caught fishing with bombs. He says he knows it's illegal, but his boss ordered him to do it. Despite the patrols by rangers, few people here are optimistic about protecting this magical underwater world from future bombings. Stapfasen, Al Jazeera, Komodo.